What's up guys, Learning with Rich here in this video. So let's continue our bookcase. So this time we are going to create the shelves of our bookcase. Alright, so let's get this thing started. So I'm going to open the front elevation. So this is where we are going to start creating our shelves. And then here, I'm going to select the Create tab. And then I'll be using Solid Extrusion. So let's click Solid Extrusion. And then I'm going to use rectangle here. So let's click rectangle. And then we are going to create three rectangles here. So let's say in this family, we are going to create three shelves. Okay. And then after that, I want to align all of these sides so that they have a common uh, side. So I'm going to click this and then align this one. And then make sure you lock that. So let's click this, click this one, and then make sure you lock that. Same with the other side. So click this, align, lock, click this line, click this, and then lock. And then select modify. So that when we move, the other sides will follow as well. Okay, so now the next thing that we are going to do you we, we are going to align this line here to this reference plane. So I'm going to use the align tool. Click. Let's click that reference plane. And then let's align this line here. And then you lock it. There you go. And then select modify. Now the next thing that we are going to do here is we are going to apply the panel thickness parameter that we already have. So to do that, so we are going to create align dimension so let's click that and then make sure you select the line that we have here so you hover your pointer and then you press tab once and then once you see it highlights the sketch line so click and then you click this line as well and then you click here let's click this line here click somewhere here click this click and then let's click it there all right and then let's select here modify and then after that we are now going to apply the thickness so let's click hold control and then click the other dimensions and then you click the label drop down here so we are going to apply there the panel thickness so let's click panel thickness and there you go and then just click outside now we are going to create here a maximum uh, shelf height and minimum shelf height okay so to do that so let's create dimension again so align dimension so let's click this line here up to this line and then let's put it here and then let's click this line as well click that then you click this and then let's place it somewhere here okay and then select here modify okay and then after that so i'm gonna select this one so let's say this will gonna be the maximum height so let's click this and then let's create a parameter for that let's put here shelf maximum spacing and then type parameter dimension length parameter and then select here okay okay so it's already defined here in this exercise because I already created it a while ago but let me just edit that one okay so to edit the parameter so let's click family types let's delete the parameter that you have created earlier or I have created earlier so click that and then let's select here close yes or delete yes let's click this as well and then delete that okay and then select yes then select okay all right so let us now create again. So click, create parameter. This is our shelf, maximum spacing. And then I'm going to put it here. OK. And then this one here, click, create parameter. So let's create here our minimum spacing, minimum All right, so shelf, minimum spacing, type, 
dimensions group and then select your OK. There you go. Okay. And then after that, the next thing that we are going to do here is let us now finish this. Let's click. Click outside and then let's go to the reference level. Okay. So in this view, so we are going to make sure that these sides that we have created, so this um, extrusion that we have created are aligned and locked to these sides here. So that's why I'm going to click that. Oh, no need to click, just select align here. Align, click that side and then this side here, then make sure it's locked. Click that line, click, lock, click that line, click this, and then lock it. Then select here, modify. All right, so in 3D view, this is how it looks like. Okay, so we have our uh, three uh, panels there. So now the next thing that we're going to do is let us flex our model if it is working. So let's go back again to our family types. And for 72, 18 by 48, I'm going to change the maximum spacing here. I'm going to make that uh, one foot. And then for the minimum spacing, I want that to be six inches. Okay, and then let's apply this. And there you go. Let's select OK here. Right? Okay, so there's our three shelf there. So let us try that to other size. Click family types and then let's look for 60, 18 by 60. Let's change this. So again, I'll just use the maximum spacing of one. One and then a minimum spacing of uh, six inches as well. And then I'll select your apply. There you go. And then let's use the our smallest size here. So for this one, I'll just make it uh, four inches. Let's try uh, four inches as well for the minimum and then apply. There you go. Okay. So as you can see, our family is now working just fine. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to assign the shelf to the subcategory, to the correct subcategory that we have created last video. So let's create our shelves and then let's go to the properties and then let's assign the subcategory. Click the drop down. Let's look for shelves and then select your apply. And there you have it. Now, the next video that we are going to do is we are going to create the enclosure panel of our bookcase family okay so again hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so thank you for watching guys have a nice day